you know, I, I, I thought this wasn't going to happen, but it happened anyway. And it was a genuine surprise because, you know, the window for adding expansion teams and stuff like that was going to be sorely thrown out the window. But apparently, they, they got it together. And there's going to be another indoor slash arena football team in Texas, in Frisco, the same place where the Texas Revolution died this year. Now, it's the indoor football league adding this team and putting it together. Um, but this is a weird, weird situation. Now the IFL's at 13 teams. There might be another team, but who knows about that completely. It's just a weird slate right now. And now that I think about it, there might be a bunch of bye weeks. There might be a bunch of bye weeks for each team and stuff like that. But I don't know yet. I don't know at all. So, um, but now there's a team in Frisco. I'm pretty sure they're going to play at the forward center at the star. And they don't have a name. But they do have some owners. I don't know who the owners are. I'm not going to pay attention and look that, look that article up again. Because it, it it's so dumb. The IFL looked like it was pretty much set. Yeah, the Spokane Shock is on island out out in the state of Washington but you know you know they had a good mix of midwestern teams and western teams but now they've added another Frisco team they've added a Frisco team when they do not need to do so when the market has proved to fail but I'm going to assume the owners here are trying their damnedest to get things together to get um, to get something, you know, going for Frisco and, you know, to keep the business booming. But I'm going to tell you right now, this probably will not work. And I'm going to be as pessimistic as possible, as optimistic as possible about this. Because I actually want to go to a Texas Revolution game just because. But I don't know about this team for Frisco. I don't know if it's going to work. And they're trying to get this prepared for this season, which will be in March around that is sometime in March when the season will start. It's still a long time away, of course. There's only five months left to prepare. And it's about to be four months because December's right around the corner. But they've announced this team four months before, you know, things got started. I don't know what in the world they're thinking here. This is a dumb decision. And it might come back to bite the IFL in the ass. So... We'll see if this Frisco team works out, but I doubt it. There's way too much saturation of sports here in Dallas. And, you know, you got the Wings out here. You got FC Dallas out here. Nobody cares about the Wings. Nobody really cares about FC Dallas either. The Stars are out here. The Rangers are out here. Um, you know, of course, college, of course, college football is king, and the NFL is king. So you know the Horns and the Cowboys and all that good stuff. And the Mavs are looking pretty good right now. So I don't know where in the world, what kind of anomaly got this Frisco team out here, but it's here to stay right now. So yeah, that's going to do it. Um, I didn't have a lot to say on this topic, and I don't know if I'm going to keep on talking about it because – you know, there could be another IFL team that circulates very, very soon. We don't know yet. Um, try and get the 14, but really they should have just stayed at 12 and, you know, got the schedule out at the end of November. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't, you can't please the egos of, the, of indoor football owners it, well, because once the fire is striking, they will continue to hammer away something that they, that they don't need to hammer away yet you know try to because 12 was a perfect number for this year but obviously that's not working out now it's 13 so i don't know yet yeah that's gonna do it for today that'll actually be the last video for today so y'all take care we'll see y'all tomorrow